Welcome to the Claire Codes channel, or welcome back. Today, we will be coding an HTML MailChimp template. And the kicker, we will not be touching a single line of HTML code. How will we do this? Using two libraries called MJML and MJML MailChimp. Links to both libraries and everything discussed will be put in the description below. What are we making today? Our client is called The Daily Grind. They want a newsletter with a header, subhead, content section, social links, and a footer. They want this all to be editable, and in fact, the content section should be fully customizable and interchangeable. I created a sketch mock-up of what we are going for. A few things to keep in mind when creating email templates. One, the simpler, the better. The less CSS you have to customize, the better. And we'll talk more about that. Two, this has to work across platforms, different email clients. And unfortunately, something that will work and look good in Gmail may not work on a client such as Outlook. This is why testing is very important, and we'll get to that. Three, MailChimp has many resources that I will be referring to and put in the show notes. They are your friend. For example, there are a limited number of email safe fonts. If you want to know what you can use, check their site. That all said, let's jump into the code. The first thing we are going to do is get set up. I'm going to open my terminal, as you can see, and now I'm going to make I'm going to CD into my desktop, and I'm going to make a directory called MJML example, sure. Example tutorial. There you go. Let's get specific. Okay, now I'm going to CD into MJML example tutorial. Great. And now I'm going to open in my code editor with the shortcut code dot to open Visual Studio Code. And there we go. Okay, and we're off to the races. Now I'm going to do control tilde to open my terminal in Visual Studio Code. And I'm gonna initialize this project with yarn. Great. We have yarn initialized, or we initialized this project. Let's install our dev dependencies. So we want to yarn add, and we want very specific MJML and um, MJML client, MJML MailChimp versions. So let's add them at their specific versions. So MJML, and I'm going to do it at 4.1.1. I'm going to also add MJML dash cli at 4.6.1, and then I'm going to add M. <laughs> MJML MailChimp at 0.0.5, just so we're all on the same page and we have the same versions and you know what's going on. So let's add all those things. This could take a little while. Great. So now we have a package JSON. Okay. So we're going to edit this up a little bit. Let's also add a name to our project. And we'll call it MJML tutorial. This really isn't necessary to have the name, but it just seems nice. And remember that comma. We're also going to add scripts. So we're going to add the scripts. And this is to access our MJML client. So we're going to have build. And actually, this might be the only script we need. So build. And let's do this correctly. So mjml index.mjml, that's the file we will be creating. And then we want to output the mjml we create to index.html. And let's save that. And let's just yarn again just so we're all up to date. Great. And as you can see, there's no license um, field. We can add a license. We can add all this, these things. Uh, additionally, I will be creating a GitHub repo so you can follow along, which would be great. And then you can also see, uh, you can check it against the repository in GitHub, which will be in the show notes if you ever get stuck. To match my package.json, let's change this from dependencies to 
dev dependencies. Cool. And then as we can see here, we have an index.mjml. I'm actually, let's zoom in a bit. Great. <laughs> Maybe that would have been helpful earlier on. Uh, but now we're zoomed in. Okay, so we have an index.mjml. I'm going to go right here to create a new file. You can also do this in the terminal. And I'm going to call it index.mjml. And we'll get started in a bit. Another really important file we need to connect the MJML to the MJML MailChimp library is we need another MJML config. There are MJML configs found in your node modules, but this is important. Great. And then within here, make sure you got this correctly. We have our packages. We need to close that. And then this is an array. And our first package, mjml, mailchimp. And we're going to go to the library, so .lib, mc, section, .js. Great. Oop, spell these correctly. That's very important. It's a little annoying because in our .mjml config, it does not autocorrect. But the linter is not working. OK, so we also need an mc image and an MC text. There is an MC button, but we will not be using that, so that is not important to us. I added a git ignore to ignore my node modules for when I push this up to GitHub. And I updated the package.json. This will be in GitHub, so you can copy it from there because there's a lot going on here. Basically our dev dependencies stayed the same. I just added further scripts and yeah, that's pretty much it. License the version. Okay, great. So let's jump into MJML. I started us off with an MJML opening and closing tag. Next, I'm going to add MJ head. Close my MJ head. What's great is that there's awesome MJML documentation. So I recommend looking at it. It has a great walkthrough. I found it very informative and it taught me a lot. And that's how I kind of figured out most of what I'm doing right now. So next, the body. A lot of the magic is going to happen. So this is an MJ body. Okay, this is where we're going to divide this into sections. And we are actually going to use our MJML MailChimp to do this so that it's fully editable. So we're going to call this an MC section as opposed to an MJ section. Let's close that. And then within our sections, sorry if there's any background noise. I cannot control my quarantine situation. <laughs> and then we'll have an MJ column. And we'll close our MJ column. And let's write our first bit of text to see how this works. I anticipate that there will be a little bit of an issue with registering our components, because I've run into this before. But we will fix it together. So within our MC text, let's make our first text. Hello world. And we will come back to adding attributes and making this an important thing we'll talk about later. So we really want this to be MC editable. So we have MC edit and let's call this our title text. Okay, so it's getting a little angry at us, uh, but hopefully some of this will be fixed. So now as we know in our package.json, we have a build script. So let's go yarn build and let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, there's some anger. Body component of undefined. All right, so let's find where this is happening. Okay, so it looks like it's happening in our MGML core. So I command clicked on it. As you can see, it is having trouble finding it undefined. So that means create component is not doing well. So we're in index.js. Let's do var create component equals require dot slash create component. I think, fingers crossed, this should fix it. Great, and as you can see, there are no errors. This took me a little while to figure out. And we now have an index.html. Sweet. And as you can see, right, all we did was write, I don't know, yeah, 14 lines of code. And within our index.html, we actually have 128 lines of code. And it formatted this the way we want it. We have 
our divs, we have our tables, tr, td, and then right here we have hello world. And we're all set up and ready to go. This is the setup, part one. And in part two, we will start and maybe finish actually coding up our template. Okay, I'll see you all in part two. Bye.